Hello Divination, thanks for joining us in the next installment of our ongoing DV Design initiative, where each week we give away a brand new free DV layout pack from our design team to you. This week, Kenny and his team have created a stunning SAS layout pack with seven different pages. These pages will provide everything your design will need to get up and running in just a few clicks. Here's how to use it. So the first thing you will need to do is download the SAS layout pack, which you can find by clicking on the link in the description below. And once you go to the blog post and download the layout pack, you'll see that you get a zipped file. And the first thing you will need to do is unzip that file. And then you'll see that you get a folder with about eight files. One of them is the all file, which contains all of the layouts. And then you have a separate file for each one of the layouts as well. Now, if you want to add these to your website, you simply have to go to DV, DV library. And I have already uploaded all of my layouts, but if you want to do the same, just click on import and export, then go to the import tab, choose your file and click on import DV builder layouts. So I have already created the pages and the menu of the website. So let's just take a look at the website and the layout pack. All right. So we have seven pages in total. We have a landing page, a features page, an about page, a pricing page, a documentation page, a contact page, and a careers page. So let's just scroll through these different layouts so you can see what they look like when they are installed on a website. So we just took a look at the landing page and this is the features page. Then we have the about page which looks like this. The pricing page. The documentation page. The contact page. And last but not least, we also have the careers page. All right, so let's go back to the landing page and you can make all kinds of modifications by using the backend builder or the visual builder. But let's just enable the visual builder now. All right, so one of the things you could do is change the gradient color to the textured background over here. So there's a background image included and you can play around with the gradient background just to change the look and feel of the hero section of your landing page. And of course you can do that with any section on your website on whatever page you are working on. You can also change the background image blend to make your website looks, look exactly the way you want it to. All right. And you can also change the position of anything on this website. For example, these blurb modules over here, you can change their position and change it back whenever you want to. And we have a different textured background over here, which you can also modify. So you can change the colors to match the first section, for instance. Another thing you could do is change the layout entirely by clicking on the following icon, clicking on the plus icon, going to the app from library tab and selecting another layout. For instance, this careers layout, and you can see that your whole page has been changed. And if you want to change it back to the landing page, you just have to repeat the same steps. Always make sure that you save your page after you're done editing it. And then you can exit the visual builder. And in the use case blog post, we're going to show you how to add ticket support to your website. And you'll see that you get the following button that follows the visitors around the website. And once you click on it, the support page will open and people who are visiting your website will either have to create an account or log in. And I'm just going to create an account really quick. And once they do that or log in, 
they will get redirected to the support page where they can create a ticket. Well, that was all for this video. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you're enjoying this ongoing DV Design initiative where we try to put something extra into your design toolbox each and every week. We're sure you don't want to miss a single giveaway, so make sure that you subscribe to our blog newsletter, our YouTube channel, and of course, make sure that you like our Facebook page so you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.